Very nice. And our James Ford, I think, was part of that. So oh, his, he, he rides was, every he day. He all weekend, yeah. yeah. All right, the news at 7 starts right now. Right now on the PIX 11 Morning News at 7, Israeli warplanes are striking targets across Gaza in what it could be to the lead-up of a ground assault. How senators from the Tri-State area are now showing their support for Israel this morning. Plus a weekend mudslide causing big headaches for Metro North. The changes to surface this morning, we're going to help you navigate that. And is New York City making progress fighting battery fires? We could find out today. The news at 7 starts right now. Live from 42nd Street, this is the PIX11 Morning News. All right, everybody, good morning to you. As the sun comes up over the East River right there on this Monday morning, is October 23rd. Yes, happy Monday, everybody. Oh, do you want to say your name? Do you want to say hello? It's okay. No, I'm Dan thanks. Manorino. Hi, Dan. How are you? <laughs> thanks for me just being the guest and just oh, like please. stepping on everyone. Yeah, I'm Calorama in for Hazel this morning. You're never more than 10 minutes away from traffic and weather on this Monday morning. Alex Lee's in the house. Meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden is with us this morning. Yes. Yes, we are here and we are enjoying what's ahead. I'll tell you what. You know what? Right now, temperatures are a little chilly. I know. Already starting to go up, though. 48 degrees. We already hit our lows and it's only up from here, guys. We anticipate those winds of feeling more like 30s and 40s. But don't you worry, some much improved conditions ahead. High pressure is in control. Here's what we can look forward to. Upper 50s, low 60s, put the umbrellas away. You're not gonna need it. Nice dry stretch, but I'll tell you when you will need that umbrella and a lighter jacket. We'll have more in 10 minutes. Alex, sending it over to you. All right, Stacey Ann, thank you so much for all of that. And we're going to start with a breakdown of what's happening with Metro North. Over the weekend, there was the mudslide that we've been telling you about. It affected service. We started the morning with a suspension. It's running now, but it's near normal service with a modified schedule. So reverse peak trains bypass Phillips Manor and Scarborough. And this is going to be during the morning and evening rushes as they continue to uh, do that work with just two of four tracks operating with service right now as a result. Also, with sticking with transit, seven train service remain suspended between Queensborough Plaza and 34th Street Hudson Yards. They're doing station improvements, so that's causing the disruptions. And in addition to that, we have service changes on these five lines. It's 4B, F, M, and Q, signal, smoke, and mechanical issues. We'll send it up once again now to Tom Kaminsky. He's joining us live in Air 11 with the rest of the gang over the George Washington Bridge. Tom, how's it going over there? Well, it is a pretty typically heavy Monday morning, and uh, and Captain Jeff Vicente has us here right over the Hudson River. Speaking of the Hudson River, Reggie Harrison with that beautiful picture. You see the fall? The fall colors are really starting to kick in here along the Palisades. If you're going to be driving south along the Palisades Parkway, south of Alpine, down toward Englewood Cliffs, right on down to the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, the fall colors definitely starting to make an appearance here. Also making an appearance this Monday morning volume. We don't get very many easy Monday mornings anymore at the uh, Hudson River crossings. The inbound side GWB 30 to 45 minutes from 8095, maybe a little better from that Palisades Parkway approach, but lots of stop and go right across the upper and lower levels. We're live over the George Washington Bridge. I'm Tom Kaminsky in Air 11. The Air 11 traffic report was presented by your local Ford stores. For great deals on the full lineup of trucks and SUVs, visit buyfordnow.com. 703 right now into the war escalating between Israel and Hamas. Humanitarian aid has reached Gaza. Despite that, Israel says it is preparing to launch a major ground offensive in Gaza, telling Palestinians to move further south. Right now, a delegation of U.S. senators are in the region as well. PIX 11's Kieran Dillon live outside the Israeli consulate on the east side with more on this. Kieran, good morning. Hi, good morning, Kala and Dan. Well, that's